Okay, so the little rip-off tab glue things were useless. I've used, um, this is Sudol Fix-All if you're in Australia, or Sally's All Clear. It's um, a product called SMX. It's a polymer, it's a, it's a level up on silicon. But if all you've got is silicon, you can use silicon, just a small smear, and that's glued beautifully. I just did it where the tabs were, and I've also put a little bit up here, keeping it away from the sensors, but just going up there. So it all sits flat. So now it's a matter of um, just getting these wire clips back under that and back under this solid ridge and uh, clipping the seat back in place, putting it all back together. Okay, so here's the task now to clip this back in, the sensors back in place. There's a hard bar through here and you have to get the clip around that and around that and then join the two together. And then there's another one back here, um, there, there to so these three and then there's three across there as well. Uh, and then that will be repaired. So the clip needs to go through that material, under that bar, and then we get the clip pliers on it and close it. So I'll have a go, see if I can't do it while the camera is rolling. So I'm just gonna start by punching a hole with a little screwdriver, like that. Then get the clip through. that and then we just need to get that under that bar it's going to be obviously going to be very very fiddly there we go that's under so it's hooked on both and then we get the pliers on top and bottom it's not coming through the seat which is good Yeah, this is going to take some time to fiddle with these guys. You may need to partially close them. Here we go. You can um, close them up a little bit to make them a bit smaller. Might help. There we go. That's down. And that's tied on. Okay, just do that over and over to stitch the seat back down. Just once more, um, put your clip through. Poke it under the bar. The bar is exposed in the right places. There's the bar. And then pinch it closed. It is a matter of working your way forward. And then, um, again, they were around the edge here, remember, on the end, but uh, keep it coming right forward. So we're really in the finishing off stages here now. It's just gonna say this cover that goes on the side with the adjustments. Uh, notice here, there's a little hook. Um, can I get down low enough? There's a little hook there with the plastic um, hooks around it. So you need to come in behind it and then slide forward. So you put this end in first so it locks. And then there's the two big clips. You can see this as we took it off, it's the same place. Yep, there it is. Above that screw with a little bit of green on it is that metal clip. That presses down and clips into place. There's another one at the front. And then that holds nice and tightly in place. Then in underneath the seat where your um, new airbag cord came through, you plug that in, not the airbag, sorry, the seat sensor, that plugs in, and the one under the cover, of course, before you clip that on, you put the seat bolster adjustment on, and if you've got electric here, then you would have had to connect another wire back there. We're done. This is ready to go back in. You just gotta vacuum up all of your McDonald's chips and everything else that's fallen down beside the seat, which you can't get to normally. My car's normally cleaner than that, but gee, she's pretty bad under the seat. So we'll um, give that a vacuum out and uh, bolt the seat back in. Oh, sorry, do off that yellow clip and bolt the seat back in. Here we go, she's bolted back in and plugged back in. That big yellow plug, when you plug it in, it actually, as part of its mechanism, slides that lock back in. So you plug it in, then you'll know it's fixed, slide it in, and you're done. One thing I would say, if you're like, oh my, too hard, I'm not gonna do that, I would get the part and then I would take it to a seat upholsterer. I wouldn't actually take it to BMW. I mean, give the mechanics a break, of course they can do it, but it's not their specialty, muck around with that sort of thing. I think you'll, um, because all it is is taking the um, cover off this and exposing the cushion underneath. So um, that's what I'd be doing. I'd take it to a, an auto seat upholsterer because they're the ones that are specializing in all those clips and leathers and hold down bars and all the rest of it. But there you go, she's done. Just gotta put the headrest back on. Now you don't have to take that off, but it just makes it easier. It's just pressing this button here on the side to have it slide up and down. It's just easier to get the seat in and out of the car when that's off, uh, but she's done, so there you go. If you get through it, well done. 
it do does take a few hours. It's just fiddly. You just got to keep at it, particularly getting those um, rings back in as you put the seat back together. It's easy enough if you've got a big pair of side cutters to cut them out. And then when you cut them, it's important to pick the two halves out each time so it end up with sharp bits in there with your new sensor. But certainly doable. You just got to plot away at it and keep on going. Make sure you've got plenty of time set aside for it. But just as we're finishing off this video about this seat sensor, something else really important that I discovered, if your seat sensor um, has gone faulty and the airbag light has come on, guess what? That airbag is off. So you have a serious accident while you've got that airbag light on, this airbag is not gonna fire. We had a look in the scan tool and when the seat sensor's got that up, it's off. So you are risking your passengers. If you're driving around um, with that airbag light on, you are, it's not like, oh, whatever, I'll get it fixed eventually. You're risking however it is you've got sitting, probably your kids, your wife or something like that, um, your husband, who knows, um, sitting in this seat, you have a big accident there without airbags. So don't muck around with your airbags. Don't bypass your airbags. Fix them properly, get them fixed properly, something like that. Yes, they're expensive, but something being expensive doesn't mean it shouldn't be done right. Okay, so here we go, the big test. You can see now, passenger seat occupancy detector occupied. There's someone sitting in there. So you wanna hop up. And just takes a couple, oh, not occupied. The seat sensor said there's no one there. And now sit down. Boom. She's working. There you go. And better than that, look at the lights up here. When we start the car, We'll need to put the seat belts on. Let the handbrake off. No lights. Look at that. Total success. Roadworthy car.